Right, me again. Today we are going to quickly remove the immobiliser from an MED 9.5.1 out of a Golf Mark 5. So first of all, we want to check whether this immobiliser is active. So I'm connected to my VCDS using the quick connector that I made. And we are going to log into VCDS. We're going to go select. Uh, we want engine. Okay, log into the engine and we're going to go to adaption and then we want to know the immobiliser status. Click on that. As you can see, immobiliser status number four, which is immobiliser match system OK. So the immobiliser is active. So what I want to do now is just go back, go back, back again, exit. Now what I'm going to use for this is Fox Flash. Uh, so what I'm going to need to do is remove this and connect up these cables. Um, so I'll do that and I'll bring you back. Talk amongst yourselves. Not that one. That's the wrong one. There. Disconnect that. This as fast as you can. Live on this one. Oh, 94, 93, 92, 91, 87, 92, 91, 90, 89, 88, 87, 86 is K line, Earth. White is 23, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then that one's 51. Brains 51, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So we should now be connected. So I'll bring you back. I haven't got time to do all the editing, so this is actually done live. So we are now connected. So what I want to do now is load Fox Flash. Click on that, Fox Flash Manager first. Uh, yes. So I let that load. Uh, no, I don't become, I want to become a partner. I want to activate. Process started, right, we're going to get this out of the way. Then I'm going to load Fox Flash. So I'll just move out of the way because it will bring up my serial number. Uh, yes. Turn me that little light off. Once it's loaded the serial number, then we can get into the program. Bear with me. Okay. That's the serial number done. Right, so we're back to it. So we just wait for it to load up. Takes a little while, can you hear it clicking in the background? Okay, so we have an NED 9.5.1. Uh, we're using the bench box, our voltage is good, so we'll go connect. Okay, so it's starting to read. Need the bench box to continue, so let's just make sure that the bench box is plugged in and switched on. Turn the power on. Okay. So next thing it'll ask is uh, internet connection. Then it'll say make sure you keep the power on. So we've got a good voltage. 
So it should say, oh, I've got to go connect. Let's go connect again, idiot. See how long this takes. Okay, internet connection, then it'll say keep the power on. So I shall do that. Yep. So what it's now doing now is connecting to the ECU. Okay, like that. Now then, I want to write the EEPROM. So let's go write EEPROM because I've already got the file. And the file I want is emo off bin, which I've got from Evo Sonics, uh, ECU Phonics, or ECU Vonics, they're called. Open. So it asked me to connect to the internet again. Or it'll make sure it's connected to the internet. Then it'll tell me to keep the power on, which I'm going to do now. And what it should do now is write the EEPROM with the emo off file. Shouldn't take too long. The EEPROMs don't take too long. Having a couple of goes at it. So we have seven minutes at the moment. Probably get to that. So I was going to say it, it gets to a certain amount and then it goes back. Right, turn the dashboard off and wait. So we'll just hit our little switch there. Click OK. OK, like that. Done. End. Excellent. What we're going to do now is go exit. I'll shut it down lovely we're going to shut this one down and then we'll bring this one back up and click close okay like that then we'll bring up vcds and we'll plug into it so there's vcds so bear with me while i remove these connections and connect our fast connector uh, okay, so just don't plug these connector is now on let's go to select engine controller where are we uh, I'll plug the power in bear with me power 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 I need more power more power right we're plugged in now I forgot to plug this my lead in, which I spent all afternoon making. So let's try again. Okay. So let's see this time whether we can actually communicate. There we go. We're in. And what we're interested in is adaption. Mobilizer status. Down at the bottom. And we want to see a one come up. Come on, read. Read. Try read.
You set their own channels. Test find you zeros. Oh. Where are we? Get back. Go back. Adaption. I clicked on the wrong one. I'm pretty sure I clicked on the wrong one. A mobilizer status we want. There we are. I don't want to read the information. You click on the read when you're actually in the vehicle if you want to match the ECU to the cluster. But as you can see, uh, we have now a mobilizer disabled. So if I just go back to that one again, basically what happens is if we click on data learning, oh, not that one again, it's because I'm doing it through the screen. If we go data learning, uh, that one, channel 50, 32,000 is correct. So that's, that's how it starts. And it tells you how to do it. And you have to put the pin code in. Um, and then you go data learning from that. But we don't want to do that because we are immobilizer off. Okay, so that is how you remove the immobilizer from this Golf ECU. Took a little bit longer because of uh, stupid me. But pff, 11 minutes, something like that. So 10, 11 minutes should be able to remove it. Okay, and thank you for watching.